Today, for our Math Strategies video, we're going to be talking about number partners for 8 and number partners for 9. And this is from Ready Math Lesson 8. So today's video, we will be identifying number partners for 8 and 9 by using visual models with manipulatives and our number sentences. So let's take a look at our problem here. If a domino has 8 dots, what could that domino look like? Okay. So I have eight counters here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one way a domino could look is have eight dots on one side and zero on the other. So number partners for eight could be eight and zero. So if I take one away from eight, this leaves me with seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I have one here, which shows me the number partners for eight could be seven, and one, okay? If I take another away, I have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two. So number partners for eight could be six and two, all right? And I'm just gonna repeat my process. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, okay? All right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could even see how um, the manipulatives are set up differently. Okay, they don't look the exact same, but they're still equal. All right, just continuing my pattern. I have three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. This time I know I have six and two, and seven and one. And I have 0 and 8. Okay, so these are all my number partners for the number 8. Okay, so now we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about the number 9. So if the domino has 9 dots, what could the domino look like? Okay, so right now I have 8. I'm going to add one more here, which gives us 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and if I have nothing here, I have 0 and 9. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of continue what we did. Just take one from one side and add it to the other. Now I have 1 on one side and 8 on the other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now I have 2. Okay. Okay on one side, and I have seven on the other. Now I have three on one side, and six on the other. And as you can notice, as this, this number on this side gets bigger, this number over here is getting smaller, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda continue to take one from one side and add it to the other. That gives me four on one side and five on the other. Now I have five on one side and four on the other, okay? All right, I have six and three, seven and two, eight and one, and now I have nine and zero. Now, I could check my number partners by thinking about combining them, thinking about those number sentences. So if I, if I put together or join zero and nine, I should get the number nine. If I combine or join one and eight, again, I should get nine. Okay, two and seven gives me nine because they're number partners for nine. And I could continue this process. Okay. And you can see these two facts right here, they look very similar except the four comes first and then the five and then the five and then the four, okay? And I could continue because I know that seven and two together give me nine, eight and one together give me nine, and nine and zero give me nine. And these are the number partners for the number nine.